all things unexplained. Do you think you'll ever finish the book day after Roswell? <laughs> I'm going to be sad when I do finish it. It is a lengthy book. I'm really soaking it in page by page. I mean, I mean I'm serious. I'm really processing everything I'm reading here. And not a single thing he's said have I has, have I been able to come close to discrediting. I want to say how ironic it is that we have the Pentagon telling us about transparency. We have NASA researching UFOs and UAPs and telling us about transparency. We have the Air Force now raiding civilians' homes for operating websites about Area 51. Oh, but there's nothing to see. Nothing to see. We have FBI raids of Bob Lazar's homes. Oh, but nothing he says is true, right? Oh, but they're raiding his home, confiscating everything he's got. And his business. And his businesses. That's right. In, you know, in Tim's defense, this is the first book he's ever read that didn't have pictures in it. So just, you know, <laughs> so yeah. if it takes him a while, just bear with him. He'll get through it. But yes. here's what I'm going to say. Yes. Avi Loeb told us, hey, the head of NASA said he saw classified data and made the hair on the back of his neck stood up. Now, Avi made a little joke about that, but what he said was very profound. He said, you know what, and I think we should all take this, take this away. We don't need the classified data, and here's why the skies are not classified. Although you would think from the raid of Bob Lazar's properties and the operator of dreamlandresort.com properties maybe the sky is classified or they would like it to be but guess what the sky is actually not classified folks and we can look up and we can collect data that's why i appreciated this documentary a tear in the sky on amazon because they went out there and they collected data no matter you might interpret it in different ways but what they collected is indisputable okay there's things out there we don't know Maybe it's the B-21 Raider. Maybe it's from another galaxy. Maybe it's from the moon. Who knows? But the sky is not classified, folks. Keep looking up. We can all join in the scientific project that is collecting data on the things we see in the sky. And you know what? We can get to the bottom of this. All things unexplained.